Is meditation the only way to be mindful? Is mindfulness really important to be looked at? What is the connection that mindfulness has with happiness and quality of my life? These are some of the questions that I'll attempt to answer in this video. My name is Yukti and as a leadership coach, I have witnessed people grow leaps and bounds once they could bring in the sense of mindfulness in whatever they do. So let's look at the first question. Meditation is one of the many ways to practice mindfulness. The second question is if mindfulness is really important. So let's look at this. We all have what is called as a happiness baseline. Why is happiness baseline even being talked about? Because let's face it, no matter what we want in life, eventually all of that boils down to more happiness, isn't it? If I were to ask you, what is it that you really, really, really want? And you might say, I really want more money. I, I want more love, right? I want a bigger house. And if I were to ask you a few more whys after that, and why a bigger house, why love, why more money, it eventually boils down to the same thing, to be more happy. And that's why it's interesting to look at what's called as a happiness baseline, which means that we all have a certain baseline at which we come back in terms of our happiness levels. So you could win a lottery and you could be extremely happy for a few days, a few weeks, maybe months, and then you come back to your baseline. You could meet with a very serious accident and face uh, discomfort, maybe disability, right? If the worst happens to us and we are really, really low while that happens and eventually we come back to the baseline. So whether you are experiencing a real high in life or going through an extreme low, over a period of time, you will come back to what is called as your happiness baseline. And we all have a different baseline. We can actually elevate this baseline whenever we want. All that it takes is mindful practice, is to bring in a practice of staying in the moment. Like I said, meditation is one such practice. Another way to do that is to walk slowly and experience the nature and the space and time and be and you know merge in that moment while you're walking and not walk to prove how many steps you've covered today or how many kilometers you've covered there is no target in this walk there is absolute presence in it there are multiple ways to bring in mindfulness because mindfulness eventually is about bringing yourself into the moment third question what is mindfulness to do with happiness when you bring in mindful practice when you bring in the ability to be mindful in whatever you do, whether you cook or you're talking to your children and playing and spending time with them or your family, or you are leading and doing something serious as business at work, you can bring in mindfulness in any and every bit of this. It starts with one step at a time, one moment at a time. And any and every single time you bring in this baby step towards being here and now is what encourages you and motivates you to take the next step forward. To give you a little cushion here and take away the self-critique at least for a little while if I may. So I hope and pray that you bring in more mindfulness in your life and consciously elevate the baseline of your happiness because you deserve the best and that is a function of how good our quality of life is. Thank you.